I've added some nozzles for the image hose and some paint brushes on my site and I had a question about how to load them into Painter X3 so this little video will show you how I do that. First of all for the for the nozzles to go into your image hose select your image hose category and I pick linear size P and angle W a lot to work with different ones of mine so next you open your nozzles which is under your media library panels go to nozzles now the first thing you have to do is load the new nozzle that you've downloaded from the website into painters memory and you do that by going to this little right hand drop down menu and saying load a nozzle then it will go down to you choose the folder that you've saved the nozzles into and I have one here that's called um, a one gold link so now that either though, even though you can't see it it is loaded into painters memory now to get it into your painter nozzles the next thing you do is click again on the right hand side and even though it's loaded you now add it to your library and it comes up with the name that we loaded one link gold chain say OK now it comes up here and it looks kinda silly often they do but that has to do with the size of the nozzle itself so click on that one that you're going to work with then for this one to be used right you have to set it really small so I have it at 3 point four on the size of the nozzle and when you start drawing with it you can see it makes kind of a gold link for necklaces on portraits um, it can be resized to different sizes um, and you can do them individually and build them that way but the thing about nozzles is they're nice to draw with so play around with that one and see if it's worth having in your library for portraits that you might do where you want to add a gold chain on someone's neck. Now the next thing um, is how to load your brushes. Uh, they have a, a le one less step so the first thing you do is create a category to put them in. Um, I'm going to highlight the acrylics category because I don't want brushes loaded into my nozzle so I'm just picking one of my painter categories and you'll see why um, go over to that right hand side and first create a new brush category to keep these downloaded brushes that you collect from people's websites I'm going to call this one um, say X3 test brushes and tell it the new category is OK. Painter always creates new categories at the bottom of your list of painter brushes. So you see here's the X3 test brushes and it has added the last brush I had highlighted. Um, so I was in that acrylics category so it added the dry bristle. Now it can't create a category without one brush in there so it just defaults to what your last brush highlighted was. So now it's that category has that one but to add one I had on my website now you go down on that same right hand drop down menu and choose import a brush. Now whatever folder you have saved those brushes into I, I saved mine into a folder called brushes downloaded um, and your file system on your computer could be very different but under my libraries I have created um, an X3 painter Tana's folder and it contains all of my book resources uh, brush libraries brushes downloaded it has my nozzles my color sets and things like that because I don't really want to mess up the original brushes that came um, so by keeping them in my own folders 
I'm not messing with the program brushes themselves. So now you would go to the folder you downloaded them into and just pick one of the brushes you downloaded to import and it says save this variant as it might save one of Tana's background brushes or whatever and it's putting it into that category you just created because that's the category you had highlighted on the list. You say save. Now it defaults to that so you can see you've got two brushes now in that new category you created. You can either remove the original one because that's already in with uh, your painter brushes and now that category has the chalky texture that I added and you can just start painting with it. If you downloaded three or four of mine I would suggest you put them all in there and the ones that you like and want to keep um, you can create a category and move them into it but uh, I keep all of mine in categories that's easier for me to use, my favorites. So I have a category with my background brushes and if I considered this a background brush I might move that in there later but until then it stays in my test brushes until I find that I'm using it pretty regular and want to keep it as one of my brushes. Um, hope this has been helpful if I went too fast or talked too fast, I'd suggest just opening it up again in a split window and um, running your painter right alongside, pausing it and going through the steps exactly how I did. I hope this answers your questions and you find it helpful.